Hey guys, how you doing? Hope everybody is well out there. Just want to start off by saying thank you and welcome. So I want to address a couple of DMs that I got. Some people didn't know how to get audio from their SP44 MK2 into their Ableton and vice versa. The audio from their Ableton into their SP44 MK2. And really all it is is some adjustments and the preferences, which can be quite confusing. I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes I get confused and I even got to write it down myself because I forget because you have to keep changing these settings and these preferences to get this audio, that audio, and you're using different apps and different programs and different plugins to do different things. And sometimes they just don't talk to each other the way they should. So I hope this video helps. So let's get into it. Let's start this audio. The audio that you're seeing right now and you're hearing is coming directly from my SP404. You'll see it here and the uh, recording meter here and uh, it's coming in on track three. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop that and uh, these are the settings here that pop up on the screen. To get your SP into the Ableton session, you have to have these settings here. These are the settings. And now I'm going to record on play. There's my audio right there. Coming from the SP-404. Okay. Let's stop that. Now let's play back the audio. And there we have it. That's coming from the SP-404. And there's many reasons you may want to do that. Let's say... You have a um, a beat that you started in the SP-404. Let's say you like the way the SP chops or you like the way the effects are on the SP and that's all you want to do in the SP. You want to take that and dump it in the Ableton. This is how you do it. This is, this is, this is one way to use it. Let's say you have uh, a four bar loop or something and you want to duplicate it on Ableton. You can just drop it in Ableton and do some other stuff to it. Whatever it is that you want to do, it's just a good practice to be able to bring audio from one machine into your door and from your door into your uh, uh, SP device. So now we're going to take audio from our Ableton session and bring that into the SP. And in order to do that, you have to make sure you have these settings in your live session, these settings right here on the screen. Okay. Now, before we start, just understand that anytime you're bringing in audio from an external source, you always have to make sure you push the external source pad on the SP. So now we're going to start this beat that I have here in Ableton. Okay. Yep. And uh, we're going to go ahead and bring this in. We're going to hit record. We're going to select the pad, pad number five. It's going to count down. Now it's recording. Yep. So let's stop this. Let's stop the recording. Recording complete. Let's turn up the external source pad. And here's that audio on pad number five. Here's that audio right here from Ableton. There's a few reasons why you may want to do this. Uh, let's say you're working on some music in Ableton and you're not done yet and you don't feel like tracking out the session or duplicating the loops to give it a certain amount of loops so you can, you know, listen to it in the car or listen to it in your headphones. You can just go ahead in real time and do your drops live and everything from Ableton into your SP, bounce it to your mini SD card and have the beat that way. Or you could chop it up in your rolling or whatever it is that you want to do. Just get creative with it. But I just wanted you guys to understand how to get the audio from one machine into another. How to get it from your drum machine into your door. That was the important thing. I hope this video helped. Uh, I do appreciate you guys taking the time out to subscribe to the channel. And trust me, I'm going to take the time out to give you the content that you deserve. Because I do believe in quality over quantity. And I want to make sure that the videos that I do put out, you guys are getting something from it.
This wouldn't even be possible without you. So if you have any questions, please hit me up in the DM. Keep creating, y'all. Take care. Till next time. I'm good.